everyone, this is Mindy with Honeybee Stamps and in today's video I'm going to be creating this sweet spring card using the Songbirds la Lovely Layers set from Honeybee Stamps. Whenever I get the Lovely Layers from Honeybee Stamps, I will always die cut something from white cardstock first just so I get an idea of how it's going to layer up, what colors of cardstock I want to use if I'm using colored cardstock or if I'm going to ink blend. Today I'm going to be using my colored cardstock. So I have my main pieces of the one bird die cut from white and then I picked out the pieces that each of those belong to for the die. So here I'm starting out now for one of the birds I'm doing a light and a dark pink. And now for the base layer of this bird which is the biggest piece I'm going to die cut that from the dark cardstock. I will do that for all of the pieces. I have two shades of green, a light and a dark. So the darker one here, I'm die cutting that big base layer from. And then once more on this kind of dark, uh, dark teal colored cardstock. Now I went back to the white to figure out my layers once again. There's kind of a middle piece that's going to uh, be the breast of the bird. And then there's going to be a top layer to kind of add some detail to the wings. So that top layer I'm die cutting from the lighter shade of cardstock. Now I brought my white piece back in to see if I liked the white or if I wanted to change that color up. The white is really pretty and really bright. So I decided that I wanted to just kind of tone that down a little bit. So this kind of centerpiece of the bird I'm going to be die cutting from a cream type of cardstock. So that layer I went through die cut three pieces for each of the bird using my bitty buzz cutter. Now there's also one other piece so there's a couple more pieces to the bird but this one is going to be adding some detail to the front of the bird and on this one I did kind of a like a soot gray type of color and then there's a smaller piece here and I'm going to die cut it three times from white cardstock. That is going to be the foot there's a beak and then the eye. I thought it would be a lot easier to cut those small pieces from white and just color them with my Copic markers later. Now one more thing I wanted to do is just kind of amp up my cardstock a little bit. So for my light blue cardstock I'm going to be ink blending on some peacock feathers just to the outer edges of the wings. This one I think is Lucky Clover and then worn lipstick onto the light pink cardstock. Now I can start working on the assembly of my bird. For all of my bird pieces I will be using the Honeybee Stamps a liquid glue and my tweezers. I'm really going to be sure to line up this kind of off white color because I don't want the dark layers of the base piece to show at all. And then I'm finishing that with that light blue cardstock on the top. So that is kind of the, the main base of the bird. I personally think that kind of additional breast piece is optional or right under its neck. I think that's kind of optional in my opinion. I thought it looked really good to add another color there but I think it would also look really pretty to just leave it all white. So I'm going to go through and do all of that for the remaining birds, my pink and the green. Now I'm sure these are not realistic colors of birds, maybe the bluebird, but I just thought it was really fun to have this kind of spring color combination for the front of my card. I have my three birds pretty much assembled and now I'm going to work on these detail pieces. So I have a silicone mat here and on the two smaller pieces um, there's a beak and then there's their foot that I'm coloring with an orange Copic marker and then that really small kind of oval shape is going to be their eye that I'm just adding a black Copic marker over. So on the bird itself there is an impression. I should have really brought that closer to the camera for you to see but there is an impression where that foot is going to go. And then I'm going to add just dots of glue to that spot and then also to the beak to add those two pieces. Now this is where it is really handy to have some sort of pick and stick tool. Mine is from Gina K Designs but I know there's a couple different ones. This one I really like because it has that waxy tip on one end and then it has a pick on the other. And that pick really comes in handy when I need to kind of move my piece around or turn it or flip it over. I can use the pick on the other end. And there are a few different tools that have pretty much the, the same feature as that. So I'm just picking that up with that wax tip, adding it over my dot of glue that I have on there to kind of finish off my bird. 
Now my silicone mat that I was working on, I'm just going to end up putting some rubbing alcohol on it or spraying some rubbing alcohol over it to clean off that alcohol marker. So alcohol markers come off with either hand sanitizer or rubbing alcohol. Here are my birds all laid out. I love them in this different shades of color. I think it would really be really cool to create just a whole rainbow of them too. Of course, a rainbow. So now for my background for my birds is I have a piece of white cardstock. This is hammer mill cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half. And on one end, I'm going to ink blend on Salty Ocean Distress Oxide Ink. So I start at the top and as I blend down towards the bottom, I'm going to have it get softer and fade into white. I wanted to add a little bit more to my scene other than just having the blue sky. So I'm taking these two clouds that come from the Cottage Countryside die set and I die cut them from some white cardstock. Now for my sentiment, this is coming off of the Big Time Kindness stamp set. It's just one of the smaller sentiments. And I'm placing this onto black cardstock using one of my Misty Corner tools in my Mini Misty that's going to help push that sentiment down so it's straight lined up with my cardstock. It's just going to make it easier for me when I go to trim this out. Now I prepped the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool. And then I'm inking up my sentiment in the Honeybee Stamps White Pigment Ink. And because I'm stamping very, very gentle, I'm going to stamp it three times just to make sure I'm getting a really good impression. Then I'll take this over and sprinkle on some of the Brutus Monroe Alabaster Embossing Powder. It is a bright white embossing powder. Uh, sprinkle that on, tap off the excess, and then I can bring in my heat tool and melt that embossing powder. Now, whenever I'm done, I usually will take a Swiffer tool to kind of buff off some of that white powder. If it didn't come all the way off, I like to take an eraser and just go around it. I don't go over the embossing, just kind of around it and in between. Then I'm going to bring this to my mini trimmer and trim that down into a thin strip sentiment. And I'm also going to cut a couple more pieces of a black cardstock that's going to be about the same size. I'm going to use those strips to layer behind the sentiment to help build it up for dimension. Now I can start working on my scene. So I laid the birds out where they would go on the card to make sure they all fit. And I'm bringing in the clouds. I had them kind of scattered across the card. I'm just using tape runner for these. And I did end up kind of moving a couple, which is why you see me rubbing my finger on the cardstock every now and then is there was a little bit of tape runner left behind that I can just rub away with my finger or an adhesive remover. So I love with the tape runners that I can kind of move things and adjust them as needed. So I have the cloud up on top and one up on the side. My sentiment is going to go down in that bottom right hand corner. And I tell you, I think these clouds really helped complete the scene. I, I love that addition to it. Now, when I trimmed off that excess, I didn't want to, I didn't want to waste that. So I put that down in that bottom corner and my sentiment is going to end up sitting on top of that cloud. Then for my sentiment, I'm taking some of those thin black strips that I had trimmed out earlier. I'm adding tape runner to it and then I'm adding my sentiment on top, but I'm not going all the way across. I'm part of my sentiment on the left hand side is going to overhang onto the bird or overlap onto the bird. So I don't need any extra dimension there. I just need it on the rest of the sentiment. So once I kind of built that up with about two or three layers of cardstock, I'll then add some liquid glue across the whole back and add that to the front of the card. For my finishing touch, I have these crystal glimmer enamel stick, uh, enamel stickers. And this was really cool. It's kind of hard. It's really hard to see on camera, but there is some glitter in these crystal enamel stickers. It's really, really pretty. You might be able to catch it more in my pictures, but I added some just around the card to help give it some sparkle. So that finishes off my spring songbirds card. I love these birds in a variety of spring colors and it was really simple to put together. It's There's not a ton of layers. So if you're looking at any of the lovely layers, I highly recommend this one. The dies also provide a lot of detail in the wings too. I hope you enjoyed today's card project. Thank you so much for joining me today and see you again soon.